Welcome back to day three of our Dollar Tree Thanksgiving. Today's recipe is going to be mashed potatoes. Now, in this challenge, I am trying to make as many items from scratch or make them homemade as possible. Dollar Tree doesn't sell fresh potatoes, and I seriously contemplated making french fries into mashed potatoes, but even that seemed like a bit of a stretch for me. <laughs> so, we're gonna do the next best thing, and we are going to turn a box of instant mashed potatoes and make them taste just as good, if not better, than homemade mashed potatoes for your Thanksgiving dinner this year. For our improved store-bought mashed potatoes, we're gonna be using one eight ounce box of mashed potatoes. I'm gonna be using milk, chicken stock, butter, sour cream. Then for spices, I have chives, garlic powder, onion powder, and of course, salt and pepper. Starting out with a medium-sized saucepan, I'm gonna heat this up over medium heat, and to that I'm gonna add two cups of milk and two cups of chicken stock. Once our milk and broth mixture has come to a boil, we're gonna take this off the heat and we're gonna move this over to the mixer. Uh, you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer, whatever you have. I'm just gonna use the stand mixer because it's quick and easy. Here we go, over at the bowl of my mixer, I'm gonna just start in by adding in the liquid that we just heated up. followed by the entire box of the instant mashed potatoes. Now I will say that this was the last box of this Hungry Jack mashed potatoes that I found at the Dollar Tree. I know they also have the bags. The bags are quite small. Um, this is an eight ounce box, but I think the bags only come with four ounces. So you get more with the box if you can find it. Uh, you'd have to get two of the bags to make the same recipe. So we are just going to go ahead and mix that on low until it is incorporated and then we'll start adding in our mix-ins. So for add-ins, we are going to be throwing in one half cup of margarine or butter, whatever you have. The Dollar Tree doesn't sell butter, they sell margarine. And one full cup of their imitation sour cream. I mean, it does have dairy in it. It's just, I guess it's also got like palm oil and stuff in it. They call it imitation sour cream. It tastes fine, I've had it before. And then for seasonings, I have one half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And then one full teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, and chives. Now don't worry about like keeping track of this. I'll have the full recipe in the description box down below. So I'm just going to go ahead again and mix this on low until everything is well incorporated. Once you start to get to a point where everything is mixed in and you're not afraid of things kind of splashing around as they might, uh, you can go ahead and ramp the heat up, ramp the speed of your mixer up to like medium high or so to try to whip some air into them, get them nice and fluffy and creamy. So that's what I'm gonna, going to do now. There you have it. Today's video was super quick, but there wasn't a whole lot to show you or tell you. It was kind of a dump and go situation. I have not tried this yet. I was extremely tempted to lick my finger in the process of making this, but I did not for the sake of integrity of the taste test. So let's go ahead and give the 
better than homemade mashed potatoes a try and see if they really are better than homemade. Mm. Mashed potatoes are just one of my guilty pleasures. When I make mashed potatoes, I lick the spoon, I lick my fingers. I cannot stop eating mashed potatoes when I make them. And these, mmm. The chives are what make them. Like, hands down, the chives make them taste and feel fresh. They do still have that kind of instant mashed potato texture to it. And you know what I'm talking about. You can't beat fresh mashed potatoes. Instant's always gonna kind of have that sort of powdery film that it leaves on the inside of your mouth. But these are not bland at all. You can't really taste much of like the individual ingredients, the butter and the sour cream and things like that, but I think they add to the richness and the overall texture of the dish. Because I know that without those ingredients, these mashed potatoes can be quite grainy. But again, it's the chives. Like the, the seasonings and the chives make these taste world fresher than just your standard instant mashed potatoes. So I do hope you give this recipe a try. Again, check the description box down below for the written recipe that I used. And I will see you guys again in my next video.